What's going on, y'all? It's making it rich. I just want to say thank you to everybody that subscribed and showed love from the last video I posted from my crazy reaction from the game. You know, I'm I'm still a little sick about that one. It's still it's still you know hurting in my heart, but you know I'm I'm letting it go as you know as the days go on. But I just want to say thank you to everybody that's been showing mad love and support and just everybody that's new to the channel, man. Welcome. I did not expect the video to get to 20,000 views and more, but I'm grateful for it. And you know, let's just keep the ball rolling. Welcome to the channel. Uh, let's keep going with it, man. Once again, thank you so much for the love and support, the haters, the jokes. I'm Man, I'm cool, you know what I'm saying? So I don't take nothing personal. This is football, this is life at the end of the day. I take it with a grain of salt. We keep moving on. All right, start the video off, man. Mike McDonald left us, as y'all can see. Um, he accepted the head coaching job in Seattle. Can't be mad at a man that want to get his money and, you know, take care of his family, man. So, you know, I was kind of sad about Mike McDonald leaving because it was like, damn, we, we got this amazing, young-minded defensive coach who's really changed his defense. So it was just like, ah, who's going to step up and fill that role? And I know a lot of the talk was about Zach Orr uh, being a possible candidate. And look where we're at. You know what I'm saying? We're here, February. Uh, first day of Black History Month, um, the Ravens announced that they have hired Zach Orr as our defensive coordinator. And I'm happy for him, man. I'm very happy for him. I know he was a part of this organization uh, a few years ago. He had to retire due to injury. So I'm excited for him. Somebody that knows the system, somebody that's been familiar with how we play ball, um, our system, and our head coach, obviously. So I'm excited for Zach Gore. I think, you know, he has a great relationship with the linebackers and with the defense in general. I think he'll step up and do the job that, you know, Mike McDonald was doing. I don't believe that he can't fill the shoes of Mike McDonald or even exceed those um, expectations. So I'm excited for him, man. I'm happy to get that out the way and not be trying to scramble around for a defensive coordinator and all these new people trying to come in and now the system changes, I think. We need to keep the system the same way that we were doing it last year, the last two years with Mike's system and just kind of keep using that system and taking advantage of it, man, because this defense has changed a lot, a lot. You know, even though we didn't win the AFC Championship game, this defense has changed a lot and they had one of their best seasons in a while last year. So um, I think he's going to really do something for us. I know we got PQ, Geno Stone potentially could be leaving this all season. But, you know, then again, I feel like we drafted some dogs. We've seen some of uh, Trenton Simpson play a little bit, um, if I'm not mistaken, preseason and, like, the last regular season game. Uh, we've seen a little bit of him, and he's a dog. I, I believe he can, and this ain't no disrespect to PQ, but I definitely believe he can get up to that level, like, without a problem. As long as we got Roe as our play caller, our commander of that defense, I think we'll be all right. I just feel like we got a few spots to, you know, maybe take care of defense if we have a few guys walk away. I would love to see Clowney back. I would love to see Van Noy back. I would love to see a few, a few guys back, honestly. Like, this defense really had it, but I know people got to get their money. This is a business at the end of the day, so, you know, take it for what it is. So I definitely think this past season was one of our best chances of making it to the Super Bowl. That doesn't say that we can't do this all again next year. As long as we got eight as our quarterback, I believe anything. I just think for the team, man, we just come back in the offseason. I don't think we need to really make, like, no super huge, like, signings. Unless, you know, we get somebody that's worth it. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I just don't want to go through the whole getting somebody new and then it doesn't work out for them, all this. Like, let's keep building on the team that we have. Maybe we need to add some depth in a few positions, and let's run it back, man. You know, we definitely need to upgrade the O-line. O-line, I ain't going to say no names, but it's a few few spots on that O-line that I think we need to either upgrade or need some work because you give Lamar a calm pocket and time to think and time to analyze everything and all his reads, that's a dangerous Lamar. I really feel if you get Lamar to that point, it's going to be a dangerous Lamar. I just, I need Lamar to be Lamar. Yeah, let's upgrade the O-line room. Let's get our running backs healthy. Let's get our wide receivers working with Lamar in the off season. I would love to bring OBJ back. Um, I mean, even Nelson Aguilar was a good signing. I feel like everybody in that room was good. We just need another off season to work together. Like, 
and I think we'll be we'll be all right. But I would love to see that wide receiver, wide receiver group back together. I would love for Bateman to become first second a second option. I know Zay Flowers is kind of becoming like that first option. So I would love for Rashad Bateman to be that second option. You know, for Lamar and they get that off season work in because I know that the past off season Rashad Bateman had surgery, was injured, so you know they couldn't really get that chemistry going, but. I feel like if they lock in, man, this team could really be dangerous. And if we just execute, stick to who we are, play Ravens defense. <laughs> There's nothing that can stop us. So I know Friday we have our season ending presser. So we will watch that maybe live. Uh, depending on what y'all want to do, I'll go live while watching it. Or we can just do my thoughts after the presser. So y'all let me know in the comments. But once again, I appreciate y'all so much for showing so much love, support, the jokes, the hate. Like... I appreciate it all, man. I'm very thankful for it. Like I said, I didn't expect this video, my last video, to hit 20,000. So let's keep it going. We'll just keep pushing this Ravens content out for y'all and just stay consistent with it. You know what I mean? That's the most we can do. So like I said, I appreciate y'all. Y'all stay safe out there. And you know, Ravens flock for life. I'll see y'all next time.